In this video, I have a new fragrance from Hermé. It is H24, just released in 2021. If you're interested in the new Hermé fragrance for men, stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Peter from Centrail. If you're new to this channel, I want to give you a warm welcome. If you're back, it is good to see you again. On this channel, we talk about fragrances, designer, niche, perfumers, so on and so forth. Anything that wraps around the world of fragrance. So if you're into fragrances or you just want to smell great, consider subscribing. Love, like, share, all those wonderful things. Don't forget to hit that little bell. It lets you know of any of my further posts. And now I don't want to keep you waiting too long. Let's get into the fragrance H24, released 2021 by Hermé. With over a hundred fragrances in the Hermé lineup, there are only about a handful of fragrances that were strictly marketed to men. Most of them are for females or unisex. In 1986, there was Bellamy. In 1970, there was Equipage. In, uh, in 1998, there was Rockabar. And of course, in 2006, there was the famous Terre de Hermès by Jean-Claude Elena. And of course, there are as many flankers of this one as well like the Eau Très Fresh, and of course, the Intense Vetiver. And since then, 2006, there hasn't been a, a fragrance that was directly marketed to men until 2021, and that's the one we're gonna go over in this video. It has been over 15 years since Hermé has come out with a new men's fragrance. 2021 is the year, H24 is the fragrance tasked by Veronique Nishanian to create a fragrance for today's modern man, Christina Nagel, a renowned perfumer, combined nature and technology in this new, modern and contrasting fragrance. After reading all of that, I wanted to go ahead and get a bottle. So I ordered it straight from the Hermé website. Uh, I'm not sure you can get it in the stores yet. I didn't see it anyway here. And so I ordered it and it came in a box and I want to share this experience with you because it's quite interesting when you order a fragrance from Hermé, how they package it. It's quite a nice little present. The whole thing came in a, of course it was wrapped further in this one, but I took all of that off. It comes in a nice little luxurious box like this and then you just open it. And when you look inside, it says Buenvenue, Jez Hermé on the inside. And look at this lovely little packaging. It is the paper that is sort of cut into squares, so it's quite fluffy. And you take this whole package out like that, and it is super soft as you get it. I mean, you, you do have the feeling of luxury when you get this package, quite nice. And then you just, sorry for the noise here. And you just unwrap it. Is that too terrible? And then inside of this, you have it in bubble wrap as well. But I think it's a nice little touch to have this wonderful, luxurious paper to wrap your fragrance in. Let me put that over here. And then it's bubble wrapped in itself. And then one more packaging. It is wrapped in paper with a nice little Hermé sticker on top of it. Very nice. Nice packaging, nice little touch from Hermé. I'm just gonna slide it out like this. And here is the brand new bottle, H24 in its packaging. Uh, as far as I remember, the what I've read about it is that the packaging is made from 100% recycled material, which is a nice little touch. And of course you have it's like a slate gray, perhaps. And you have a lime green lining on the outside. And I guess if I had to, uh, I did have a sample of this fragrance earlier and I did try it to see kind of to get the longevity for you guys and stuff like that. So if I look at the fragrance, what I have in my mind with the slate and the uh, green stripe, it is very close to what you'll see in the fragrance, but I'll let you guys know in just a minute. I took the liberty of taking this Additional wrapper off. The last one was a too loud already. Apologize for that. So here we are with the uh, brand new H24 2021 from Hermé. Uh, before I open it, there's a couple of interesting things about this one. On the back, you will see it has instructions for a refill. As far as my understanding goes, these bottles are designed to be refilled. 
They come in, uh, let's say 50 milliliter, 100 milliliter, and then a 125 refill. And of course a travel spray, which is 15 milliliters. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of this bottle or this box, I should say. Let's pull it out. Here we go. And we got H24 from Hermé. And the plastic cap, it's not too heavy or anything like that. It's plastic lined on the inside, kind of chrome, snaps into place and you can pick it up like this. So that's pretty good. Snaps on very nice. It's an interesting design. It's a little bit on the square side. I don't know what, what's that shape. Let me know if you know what that shape is, but it's definitely a unique. It's more square on the bottom or more sharp edges and it is rounder on top. Yeah, and it does have a nice little look. So let's give it a spray and see. Oh, you, you want to get a closer look? Okay. How was that? Did that work for you? I hope it did. Good. So let's give this one a spray and see what we get at first sniff and see how the sprayer is, so on and so forth. All right, here we go. And oh, that came out immediately. Good. Interesting. Let's give it another one. There we go. And there's a full one. Excellent. This is a pretty good sprayer. Mm, interesting. As far as I could tell or read about this fragrance, since I haven't really worn it too long, I did wear it yesterday. I had a tester so I could test it a little bit for you guys. The most dominant note in H24 by Hermé is going to be the Clary Sage when you first spray it. And Clary Sage is a fresh cut grassy note that has an undertone of amber. So it's quite a soft fragrance note, but it does, it is reminiscent of fresh cut grass. So this is quite fresh. Another interesting note that you'll have in H24 by Hermé is rosewood essence. Now this is not a rose fragrance, although there is of course some rosewood essence in here. But the interesting fact about this fragrance is that the rosewood essence has actually been outlawed or because it is part of the Endangered Species Act or Lacey's Act. And there was actually a company in the 19, let's see, in 2017, that had to pay $760,000 for trafficking rosewood essence or rosewood oil. Imagine that, $760,000 is a penalty. Now don't worry, Christina Nagel did not go outside of the law to, to get <laughs> the uh, rosewood essence for this fragrance. She was able to source it from Peru and they have, or they are following the strictest guidelines also as far as harvesting the resource, planting and replanting the resource, uh, all in a manner that respects the species and of course the environment. How awesome is that? There's another note in this fragrance that may be even more impressive than the rosewood essence in this brand new fragrance, H24 from Hermé. Some call this molecule the molecule of the future, and it is sclerene. Sclerene is inspired by the vapor that rises from pressing a hot iron against fabric at the Hermé uh, design shops, I guess. And as, you pr as they press it, the vapor would rise and there was a, a unique smell that was in this vapor and I guess the sclerene, the molecule captures this scent. And so Christina Nagel was interested in this 
new molecule fragrance and incorporated it in H24, which gives H24, the new Hermé fragrance, a little bit of a metallic vibe and a quite modern twist to it. And the only other note that's in this fragrance, as far as we could tell by, by the listing of the notes, is Narcissus. And Narcissus is a loud floral fragrance with the slight undertone of hay and a mild tobacco. And that's it. That's all that's listed for the notes. Now I have to say it is a very different fragrance from the usual fragrances that we've had out there lately. You know, it's been lots of sweet and then you've had some tonka and some vanilla and, and lots of those different kinds of fragrances. And this one is definitely on the fresher side and I think it is perfect for spring and summer. It could be used as a, um, I guess, signature scent if you if you so inclined. Um, but it is definitely a very unusual and new fragrance. For me, there is something in this fragrance and I think she, I'm gonna give it another spray. I got a hundred mil, why not? For me, this fragrance has something that I find extremely comfortable. Now, I don't know if it's from the Clary Sage with its light violet undertone, or if it's from this new molecule that they came up with, you know, it kind of smells like grandma or Oma in the back, you know, she's ironing. There's something about this fragrance that makes it feel completely comforting and in a new way to me. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think this is a really unique fragrance. And it is definitely one of the, the most unusual fragrances I have smelled in a while. In a fresh, kind of green, metallic, floral way. Also, I got pretty decent longevity out of it. I got about six to seven hours throughout the day and it projected for about two hours pretty well and then it kind of came closer in. So it's, a, it's good for a work day, you know, six to seven hours is not that bad. I did have a spray on my hand uh, and I did purposefully not wash my hand the night before, I did brush my teeth. <laughs> and uh, the next morning I could still smell it on my hand. So it, it, it lasted through the night uh, on my hand at least, and that's a direct spray. So it, it does, and the dry down actually smelled very nice. This fragrance is a bit on the linear side for me. It is a little bit more floral and green at the beginning, and then it does turn a little bit on the metallic side. I think it's very amazing what Christine Nagel did for Hermé in this fragrance, you know, combining these unusual notes. Uh, is it worth, you know, the new Hermé fragrance 15 years into it. I don't know what I was expecting. Uh, however, when I did smell it, I was pleased. My wife loves it. I think this is a unisex fragrance. I know it's marketed to men, uh, although with the Narcissus in there and the Clary Sage and even the metallic note, I think a female could completely wear this fragrance. I think it is not, it is 100% uh, unisex in my eyes. It's not ma that masculine at all. Is it going to be a groundbreaker? Don't know yet, gonna have to see. Is it going to be timeless? Don't know, we'll have to see. As for me, I really like the fragrance. The associations that each of us make to fragrance depends on the occasions and the history of our own lives. I think that there's something for everyone in this new fragrance by Hermé, H24. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got anything out of this at all, please do consider subscribing. Love, like, share, all those wonderful things. Don't forget to hit that bell button to let you know of any of my further videos. Until next time, I want you to take good care of yourself. Always smell nice and I'll talk to you soon. Until then, Centrail, out.